Good morning everybody. I hope you enjoyed your learning this week about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Today I'm going to retell the story but I've got some props to help me. That means I've got some things that are going to help me tell the story and that you'll be able to look at. So shall we begin? Once upon a time there was a little girl called Goldilocks. Have a look. One day Goldilocks decided to go on a walk and she was walking through the forest and soon enough she found a house. So she walked up to the house and knocked on the door three times. Knock, knock, knock. Nobody answered so she decided to walk in. She shouldn't have done that, should she? So she went in the house and saw three bowls of porridge on the table. One, two, three. She was so hungry that she decided to eat one of the bowls of porridge. So she tried the first one, the biggest one, and said, Oh dear, this porridge is too hot. So then she decided to try the second bowl instead to see what that was like. She said, this bowl of porridge is too cold. So then she decided to try the third bowl of porridge. So she said, mmm, this porridge is just right. And she ate it all up. Goldilocks decided that after she ate her bowl of porridge, she was so tired that she wanted to find somewhere she could have a rest. So she walked into the living room and found three chairs. One, two, three. So she walked up to the first chair and sat in it. Oh dear, this chair is too big for me. So she decided to try the second chair. She sat down and said, this chair is too big for me as well. So then she decided to try the third chair. Now this chair was nice and small. Let's see if it will be good enough. Ah, this chair is just right. But all of a sudden the little chair broke and she fell onto her bottom onto the floor. Oh dear. She was still so tired as she didn't get to rest in the chair because it broke. So she went upstairs looking for some beds and she found three. One, two, and three. She tried the first bed, but when she got in, she said, this bed is too hard. So then she tried the next one. Here's the next one with a big mmm on it. I think that mm might be for mummy. She said, this bed is too soft. And then she found the next bed. Here's the next bed with the b, -b, -b on it. Mm. Baby bear, maybe. And she said, this bear is just right. And she fell asleep in the little bed. How cheeky is that? So she was fast asleep in the bed and all of a sudden, three bears came home. There was Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear. So in they walked and they were so confused. They walked in the door and Daddy Bear said, Someone's been eating my porridge. And then Mummy Bear said, Someone has been eating my porridge too. And Baby Bear said, Someone has been eating my porridge and they've ate it all up. Then they walked into the living room and Daddy Bear said, Someone has been sitting in my chair. And Mummy Bear said, 
Someone has been sitting in my chair. And Baby Bear said, Someone has been sitting in my chair and they broke it into lots of pieces. Oh no, Baby Bear was so sad. So they went upstairs and Daddy Bear said, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. And then Mummy Bear looked and said, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. And then Baby Bear had a look. Oh no, he said, Someone has been sleeping in my bed and they're still there. So Goldilocks woke up, looked at them and shouted, help, help. She got out of bed, ran downstairs, opened the door, ran out of the house and never came back to the three bears houses ever again. I wonder what would have happened if the three bears were at home. Or I wonder what would have happened if it wasn't three bears and it was three different animals. Hmm, I wonder what would have happened if Goldilocks went on a walk with her mummy or daddy instead of going on her own. There are lots of things to think about in this story and I want you to use your own props to help you imagine a different kind of story. So you can change one thing, maybe you can change the bears, like I said, maybe it wasn't bears, maybe it was three rabbits. Or maybe Goldilocks went on a walk with her sister or mummy or daddy or any other ideas. You can think about how the story could have been different. And I would love it if you could make your own props. So maybe that would be puppets or pictures. Here's one that a little girl made at my sister's school because my sister's a teacher as well. So they made this bear. They drew the shape of a bear, they cut it out with scissors, coloured it in, and they had a lollipop stick. You might not have all these things at home. I don't have any lollipop sticks at home and I don't have any wool at home. So if you want to just draw a picture in your book, that would be great as well. And you can think about how the story could have been different. Well done for your fantastic listening. I hope you joined in with some parts of the story and enjoyed it as much as I did. So lovely to see you. Bye.